Hey friends, welcome to Living It Country. Today we're gonna to be touring Beth from Old Time Marketplace's home today. So if you guys love chippy wood, antiques, thrifty finds, and DIYs, then you guys are going to love today's tour. Make sure you follow her in the description box below. And without further ado, let's get started. Hello friends and welcome to our home. I just got done adding some springtime touches around the house and I'd love to take you around and show you what I did. Let's start here in our foyer area. This area I always try to keep tidy but to be honest it's a drop zone. I always try to keep my market bags handy to head to the farmers market and boots you know the mess that can happen right there. If you'll notice, you'll probably see as we walk around some of the thrift finds that I have gathered um, at some of the different thrift stores that we go to on Thursdays. This basket here is one of them. And this whole DIY cabinet is one of my favorite to date. We just added a little back to that and we keep our keys in there. Going into our dining room, we use this room for dining, office, <laughs> everything. But I love my addition uh, this spring. I recently found this farm sign and I loved that it was black, which is different for me. Most of the time I tend to go toward white, but I thought it looked really nice against the ship up above the fireplace. And I was able to incorporate some of my little um, birdhouse collection there. My newest addition to my sign collection is this cattle crossing sign. And I absolutely love how I decided to utilize it this spring. And I put a lot of my little cows in here. Cows in the cubby. I received a lot of these from friends. And I love looking for them when we go to flea markets and yard sales and auctions. And I get a lot of questions about the lamps. My husband, he makes these lamps and they he just does such a good job. And when we moved here, I was so lucky to finally be the recipient of two of them. I did a simple centerpiece with a little old door and I found this old crate this app and just added lanterns I had those lanterns on the mantle for Christmas and I didn't want to get rid of them yet because I loved them so much so I worked them into springtime and this find I know that you will probably be recognizing this for those that follow me on Thursdays this is one of my favorite thrift finds it was that old cake decorating plate I added this wire close to the top and I love how it turned out. I put in a little crock collection on this cubby. This cubby was a yard sale find for a dollar. Can you believe that? That was one of the best dollars ever spent. I didn't hesitate on that one. So let's head into the kitchen. And I can't seem to get rid of my scale. I absolutely love having my scale there. <laughs> and we love having the butcher block. We utilize it a lot. And it's probably the most used surface here in our house. That can be a dump zone too, but I do try to keep it clean. Over the sink, I added some of my copper pieces that I've just kind of started collecting. And I wanted to add that touch of blue with these old mason jars. And I love how the light comes through the window. One of the questions that I get a lot is about this mug rack. And I purchased the metal rack online and then this is an old window window trim. And that was probably the easiest DIY we ever did because it fit perfectly 
over that metal rack. I was excited once Christmas was over because I wanted to switch up this cabinet that I have in the kitchen. And this is where I had my cow cat, my little cow collection. And I had acquired some unique pieces, like these trophies up here, and I wanted to kind of get them into a display. So I redid this cabinet once I moved my cows into the dining room. And I like that I can see them. This cabinet's nice because it's got, you know, the glass doors. So even when the doors are shut, I can still see inside. Well, let Frizz lead you into the living room. And this room is like the darkest room in the house. So I have the lights on in here. I think I might try to turn them off. I found these green shutters recently and I love the height. I had had white ones there for a long time and these green ones, I was sitting there the other day and I'm like, hmm, I wonder if those green shutters would look nice over there. And I love how it turned out, kind of added a little bit of drama. And I switched up my, this cabinet also and redid it for spring. I added my little flower pot collection there, my clocks. And this cabinet I've had for a really long time. It's one of my favorite, it holds a lot. And then this piece on my dining room table, actually the dining room table, it isn't, excuse me, it is an old dining room table. Now it's a coffee table that we had cut down. This was a $5 auction find that I waited all day in the rain for, but it paid off. <laughs> so for spring, I just added a lot of green touches, which I think just kind of makes things fresh. And I switched this display up over here too. I brought my terracotta chicken from outside and brought it in here. And I like how it looks sitting in the dough bowl like that. He looks happy about it too, I hope. <laughs> and let's head down the hallway. I'll try to capture this while the light is, is decent. But I added one of my favorite signs was my uh, sign that I found that said annuals. Absolutely love that. Worked that in to this hallway display. And I got my watering can collection in here. And there's the sign. And our laundry area is right here. So this bench helps for folding for sure. And let's head into the bedroom. I switched out my bedding today for a lighter, brighter look. I kept my green pillows that I had for Christmas and my throw there on the end of the bed. And I added in some pussy willow stems in those galvanized vases above the bed. And I wanted to show you these. I love these old seed bottles that I recently found with original labels. Aren't those cool? You might not normally see those in a bedroom, but I loved how they looked there. And then I added some greenery. Those little wreaths are so easy to add a little pop of color. And I love to mix and match the bedding. And then one of my favorite parts of the room is our mirror gallery wall. Those are really fun to find. 
take you back up the hallway here. Just in case we missed anything. And we'll get up to the kitchen where the sun is just pouring in this afternoon. And I hope that you enjoyed my little springtime home tour. And I look forward to seeing you ladies on Instagram. Thank you.